What's up guys, Brandon Haverillo from Redmax Events. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another product spotlight. Today we're taking a look at the JMAZ Echo Beam 100s. <laughs> So the Echo Beam 100s are part of the Echo series from JMAZ, which has different levels of moving head lighting fixtures. So you can check those out at their website. I'll link to that down below. The Echo Beam 100 is the smallest one, comes in at just seven pounds, which makes it super lightweight. You could hold it in the palm of your hand, which is very impressive. And it puts out a 75 watt LED beam. The LED has 12 colors plus white, and the beam also features 17 gobos. All these gobos are static gobos, but with the built-in eight facet prism, you can create some really cool visual and eye candy effects when using atmosphere. I'm gonna insert a clip here where I'm showing you guys some of the 17 static gobos that are built into these fixtures, as well as the 12 colors and the eight facet prism feature. Check it out. JMAZ didn't stop there with the features. The Echo Beam 100 also has a frost filter built in, which gives it that wash appearance and look. You have four options when it comes to actually operating these fixtures, which makes them ideal from a nightclub and a bar that's going to install them in a big concert rig and use DMX software to control them, all the way to your mobile DJ who is just gonna put them on two totems and let them run in an auto show mode. So the first mode is sound active. That means they're gonna to respond to the sound in the room. The second mode is a show mode, which is what they're doing now. And I actually have the master slave together through a DMX cable. And then I inverted the pan and tilt on the second one. This way they crisscross each other. Then you have your DMX control mode, and when you're running them in DMX, you have a 10 channel and a 12 channel operating mode. And lastly, you have the RF remote. Now this is an RF remote that's included with the Echo Beam 100s, and that's right, it's RF, not IR. What that means is an IR remote, you have to physically point at the lighting fixture, whereas an RF remote, you could just point up in the air and it will reach the fixtures within 30 feet. So that means that if you are in the middle, like I am here, you can have a light within 30 feet on either side and control both of them at the same time. If you wanted to have both lights off to one side, you could run RF remote to the first one, 30 feet, and then you could run whatever distance you want via DMX cable from one light to the next, and you could chain a bunch of them together and control them all with one remote. The remote's super awesome, easy to pair. You just have to find beam spot or wash, click it three times to pair it with the lights, and then click one of your modes. You also have the left and right arrows to control things like your dimmer and your speed of the auto shows. The remote's super easy and super helpful if you just wanna throw them up and have them do a basic show. Of course, you also have access inside to invert the pan and tilt if you wanted to use the remote and have them do a show like this. In the box, you'll also find a power con cable as well as a DMX cable and an included Omega bracket, which allows you to attach a C-clamp or an O-clamp to the lighting fixture and hang it off anything, truss, pipe and base, whatever you want to mount the fixture off of. It also includes a safety cable, which allows you to tie these lights up if you are rigging them above people's heads. Let's dive in and take a closer look at the back of the fixture as well as the menu. On the front of these fixtures, you have an LED menu, which allows you to cycle through the various modes and set the DMX channel mode, as well as the DMX address, set any auto shows, invert the pan and tilt, or even do a factory reset on the fixture. On the back side of these fixtures, you also have a power con in connection, which gives you a nice strong connection that's not gonna rip out on you. You then have an on off switch, which allows you to turn on and off the fixture right on the back of it, as well as a three pin DMX in and DMX out, allowing you to add this to your rig with other fixtures. As I mentioned, this moving head is super small and lightweight, only seven pounds and about 11 inches tall. That allows you to fit a lot of these in a small rig and give a really powerful light show. I was at the JMAZ showroom a little while ago, so I'm gonna show some of these in their showroom so you could see them in an environment where there's dozens of them in a row. Gives a really killer effect. Looking forward to adding these to my light shows. As always, if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, it's at Brandon Havrilla. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here, and don't forget to turn on that bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.